Hello and welcome to this episode of Max Spends Money. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to make a big purchase of Bitcoin live on this video in just a minute here. But first, I just want to talk about Bitcoin in general. I've been buying down Bitcoin for a while and my strategy with Bitcoin has evolved quite a bit over the last several years. I actually made my very first purchase of Bitcoin back in 2013. And in order to buy Bitcoin back then, I had to use a service called Local Bitcoins. I had to meet someone in person, give them cash. They transferred that, ca that, ca that cash to Bitcoin, transferred Bitcoin to my account on an exchange. And it seemed completely sketchy. It was odd. It was brand new. But I was, it was like, oh, this seems like a cool thing that's, you know, people are talking about in little tech circles. I ended up buying like $250 worth. And then I held it for a little while, sold about $200 of that, made a small profit, left $50 in the account, and then didn't really think about it much until about 2017 when we saw that huge boom where everyone was talking about Bitcoin. You know, your mom was talking about Bitcoin. Your creepy uncle was talking about Bitcoin. And I never really touched it much then because I was like, this seems like a classic like boom bust cycle and of course there was a correction however in that time I tried to log back into my account and I just simply couldn't get access to the account where I had that 50 bucks sitting and it was worth much more than 50 bucks at that point point. and then even to this day I still can't get into that account and I've done the math I've done the math here I have about nine thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin that's just sitting in an account somewhere that I will never have access to it's a funny story now, it's a bit of a bummer, but you know, there's there's absolutely nothing I can do. I don't know my seed pass. I mean, when I set this thing up, I had no intentions of this being anything, and I'm one of those people who like just has money out there that you know isn't circulated anymore, so whatever. Anyways, so I stayed away through 2017, and then after that, I really started digging into the tech and the use cases just for crypto in general, and it's the kind of thing where the more you dig into the tech and the use cases, the more you like it. The more you're like, this makes a lot of sense. Why is this not a thing? We could have one day settlement times for you know things like bank transactions or stock purchases with with the use of crypto. It's decentralized. We don't have to worry about some some big brother government controlling the supply of this. It just makes a lot of sense in in a ton of ways. The more you look at this, now. From there, I started doing some swing trades in the last year or so. You know, I would buy at a small correction, sell it at a small peak, pocket a couple thousand dollars, bada bing, bada boom. You know, I felt good about myself. However, that's that's not saying much because in the last year, the price has gone up so dramatically that anyone could have literally purchased, sold, purchased, sold, made some money, and probably would have been better off just buying and holding. I, I probably would have. I haven't done the math. I, don't, I guess I don't really care care to know uh, what, what would have happened if I, uh, if I just held. But uh, anyways, from there, back in December, when Bitcoin was at around $28,000, I was sitting there thinking, yeah, I, I, you know what? I would like to buy an entire Bitcoin. It'd make a cool video. It'd be a cool thing to be one of the few who owns an entire Bitcoin. But I want to wait until this price goes down to, you know, like $23,000 and then I'll buy in because I thought there would be at least a small correction down about $23,000 and it never happened. The price just kept on going up. So from there, my strategy changed again. And my strategy now is a combination of dollar cost averaging, just purchasing a fair amount every month. Maybe if there's a correction, purchasing a little bit more in that time period and loaning it out, loaning out my crypto to earn interest on it. Now, this is a really exciting space where you can actually make money way more than what you'd make in a bank account interest, which is like basically nothing. Way more you can make there with your crypto. So not only is your crypto hopefully going to appreciate in value, but you can earn interest on it. Now the service that I've partnered with is BlockFi where you can earn up to 8.6% on your crypto. All you have to do is store your money there and you'll also get between $15 and $250 in free Bitcoin just from transferring your money into that account. If you don't like it, you can always transfer it out or use something else, but it's a pretty cool service. I've already been earning interest. You start earning it like as soon as you transfer money in. So it's worth checking out if you have any amount of Bitcoin that you want to, you know, hold somewhere, make some money on it. So it's kind of cool. And then that brings us back to present day where just a few days ago, Bitcoin hit 61,800 and some odd dollars, 800 and some change on a record high. And I know a few years from now, even one year from now, this is probably going to sound like chump change. You know, five years from now, it's going to sound like a drop in the bucket, most likely. You know, there's gonna be some volatility along the way, but I think ultimately it's gonna be a good long-term hold, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any of those big cryptocurrencies. And I've been waiting for a dip, and I believe a dip is here. And I actually kind of called this yesterday on a stock live stream that I was doing. 
and I called it within $400. So Bitcoin was peaking, it was going down slightly, and I said, hey, I think it's gonna go down to this price, and I was so close. I was on within $400, so let's check out this clip. Wow, Bitcoin's back down to 56,000? That is crazy. I guess this could just be another little dip ski. Let's see, let's do a little retracement, a little Fibonacci, and uh, just see how much it went down last time. So last time at the pits, it lost 50% of its gains. If that were to happen here, we can expect a price of 52,800 potentially. So that could be a potential buy-in, um, like solid buy-in. And then now let's check out what this actually went down to. At its bottom here, we can see it hit about 53,188 bucks. So close, just a few hundred dollars off. And it has since swung up just a little bit from there. And you know, I really made this prediction based on previous small corrections and using that Fibonacci retracement. Now that's far from science. It was just it was just kind of on a whim and there was obviously a lot of luck here, but it's always fun just to acknowledge when you, when you hit something just spot on with timing. There was a lot of luck, I need to reiterate. Luck, 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 luck. <laughs> Anyways, I believe this dip is here and I wanted to make a purchase and then of course document it because, you know, why not? So let's go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. So I'm gonna go over here to Coinbase Pro. If you have Coinbase, you automatically have a Coinbase Pro account. The only advantage here is you have slightly smaller transaction fees, so you might as well have less transaction fees. If you don't have a Coinbase account and you want one, there's a link in the description where you'll get $10 in free Bitcoin when you open an account, and I'll also get $10 in free Bitcoin. So feel free to use that if you want. So we can see last night I actually purchased $5,000 worth of Bitcoin when we were in the middle of that dip at 54,054 bucks. Also, I purchased about $10,000 in the last uh, couple weeks but I'm going to purchase an additional $20,000 to a total of 25,000 in the last 24 hours live here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are, 20,000, which comes out to 0.357 Bitcoin. There's a fee of 70 bucks, but again, that's lower than the regular exchange fee. It sounds like a lot, but compared to 20,000, hopefully that I make that in appreciation right away and place buy order. Boom, there we go. I own officially an additional $20,000 in Bitcoin to make 25,000 in the last 24 hours. So we shall see what happens in the near future here. I plan on just holding this unless we see some huge upward swing in the short run or if some other opportunity comes up and I want to, uh, you know, transfer some money there where we'll see. Time will tell. Anyways, this is exciting. It's always exciting to make some big purchases. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.